Hi guys, good afternoon. I thought I'd show you guys how we did our bed frame. This is about two years ago and it's lasted pretty good ever since. Um, since I have everything out from under the bed in the back, our bed in the van is in the back. I think I said that right. But it stores all this stuff, suitcases, dirty laundry, toiletry bag, some tools, Jeff's toiletry bag, yoga mat, tripod, some water, dog bin for food, dog bin for treats, other things, laundry soap, dog backpack to carry a spike in, an extra blanket, a scissor jack, a box of fluids and things you may need, kind of like a junk box, but fluids and things for the van if you ever need it on the road, like oil, windshield wiper fluid, maybe uh, odds and ends, kind of. And we have two suitcases, Jeff's and mine. So I'm gonna show you guys how we built the bed. And by the way, our mattress is 10 inches. It is a like Tempur-Pedic memory foam, gel, cool something or another. Um, the bedding's really dirty right now. It's wash day, we need to go wash everything. We've had beach days recently, so our bed's pretty dirty. Um, this bed, by the way, is almost like a full or double size. We did have to cut the end off, and we did cut maybe five inches off the side. So we sleep with our heads over here and our feet over there. Technically, I sleep up here with Gavin and Kaylee, my husky. Haha. <laughs> Hi, girl and Jeff sleeps on the couch in the van. That's just what we do, that's how we do it. Spike sleeps up front. Um, but yes, we can all really sleep on here. It's a little tight, but um, yes, we put our bed in the back of the van. And so we, okay, Jeff actually came up with this idea and it's pretty cool because we didn't even have to screw in the, um, we didn't even have to screw in the wood frame to the van at all. Um, it's never moved, but maybe because I kind of have rounded corners, so maybe that kind of helps. And we did contour the wood to that as well, so that was hard when we had to cut the mattress. The mattress we actually got at Big Lots, and I think maybe it was like $250, maybe a little bit more, but it was totally worth it. Kind of sucked to have to cut some of it off. Um, so, as you can see, sorry I don't have any videos of when we did it, I think it was like trial and error a little bit, but this is on the right side, and you see it's over my wheel well, and it actually just sits right on the wheel well. Um, if you guys really want to know measurements and everything, I probably could do that, and probably put it in the description, or on a vlog, vlog? Yeah, whichever. Um, it was just kind of trial and error. These, I think, are two by fours. And then we painted it. And like I said, we did this like two years ago. So it's actually held up really well. And it's cool. You got some storage in there. And we actually made from the floor to the top here. It is, I think, like 20 or 21 inches tall. So the reason we did that is because I used to have to put Spike's pet stroller back here and it had to slide and fit under here. Well, we've since decided not to really use it and instead I use his doggy backpack when he needs to get a ride because he doesn't walk that far sometimes because he's older and he's got bad knees and you know, things like that. So um, right now this, there's some jumper cables, like a little hammock. There's like actually even little storage like right there. Um, and then we have like a mat like for outdoors. That's the back of the bench seat that we use as a couch and that's the original bench seat for the van and it can clip in, clip out. Right now it just, so you're seeing the back of it and we have storage underneath it that we access from inside the van. And then this other side. So all this just sits right on top of the wheel well and then it's kind of all just I think with the weight of everything it just somehow magically stays. And this design was awesome because it gives us so much space. I don't even know why this is here. 
it gives us so much space underneath. And so our floors, we even floored it all the way to the back. It's just like that vinyl plank click and lock or something, I think they call it. We love this floor. So we put it in, oh my gosh, it's almost been two and a half years. And I think it's been two and a half years since we did the bed also, because we did it before going to the RTR, not last year, but the year before. So I guess that would make it like two and a half years now, since it is now the end of September. So this flooring, I love it. Um, this is just dirt, but it's held up really, really well. None of the planks ever lifted up. And then we just uh, did this. So there's plywood under here. The original carpet of the van is under here too. Um, so we just put like plywood and then this stuff and then this rubber. They get all at Home Depot basically. and. That's how we scientifically did all that. I think there's another video I have somewhere about all that on my playlist. And um, so, yeah, so there's a little storage right there. And then we just have the cross beams. We just screwed everything together. Um, we were kind of in a hurry when we did this, so we painted it with probably one coat, maybe two coats, and really we should have did a lot more. I do notice that split, but it's not like gonna fall apart on us. Um, and then also, it is hinged in the middle, so technically you can uh, lift. I can't do it. It's kind of heavy, <laughs> one-handed. But we did lift. We did have. Um, it has got a hinge in the middle, so here's like the beam. Here's the wood. It's a big plank of wood. And then uh, you can actually lift this up. So if we had one and two or needed to, we can lift up one side and then lift up the other side, if that makes any sense. Because we thought originally we could lift it up to access the storage from inside, but it kind of didn't work that way because the mattress was a bit too big and heavy. Then we put these bungees that just wrap around the legs, I guess you would say. And we can hang our towels from it or anything that is wet. And it's kind of cool because it just, you don't even see it and notice it. And then I also have a bungee that goes from one leg to the other. So it just can hold all the little things that we'll put in the, that area. And there's like little storage up top up here too. So you can just like store little things up there. So yeah, so we probably didn't buy the best of wood when we did this because it was just not going to be seen and it was almost like a prototype and it actually worked out really well. And see there's even more storage right there. So it kind of provided a lot of storage and then it was awesome not having all the legs in the way like some people build and because the size of it and everything you don't really have to have it with legs um i don't know we can put all kinds of storage like the storage in here is so versatile um oh and then we got this mat from one of our friends who works in like dog training so these are the mats that they do some dog training on when they have like um conventions and things like that so i don't know what kind of mat this is but it's kind of a little grippy and rubbery, but it's so easy to sweep everything out. And I just thought it will protect the floor a little bit. So as you can see, it's, there's hair, there's always hair. I got three dogs. It is in every nook and cranny of my life. So don't you complain about the hair. Um, so yeah, I just wanted to share that with you guys. And yeah, we've had it this way for about two and a half years and it's worked out really great. And it's kind of nice to have all that storage underneath. And, you know, you sit up a little bit higher. You can still see out the back windows. Oh, here I'll show you. Yeah. So that gives you kind of an idea. We have some fluffy bedding and stuff on there. But you can still be able to see out the back window. It doesn't block it or anything like that. I don't drive with a backup camera. Um, so yeah so thank you guys for watching and i just wanted to share that with you since i had everything out right now because i was cleaning and purging and reorganizing 
and um, yeah so we actually even have like camp chairs I just remember too there are these little camp chairs that like fold up and they're right there and we have a first aid kit um, yeah so that's our uh, under bed storage and how we built our bed thank you guys always for watching if you like this you gotta give it a thumbs up share it that kind of stuff all right bye